This day was a free day and the reason why it was a free day was because it was the 31st of October which meant it was Halloween so yeah it was a free day so we went to downtown Disney. We decided to go into World of Disney which is a massive Disney store. So I tried to take a photo with this big um, Mickey plush and then my Kira decided to bomb up with Stitch. Then we went to the Build-A-Bear workshops. You can probably tell that there are two stories to this building. We weren't allowed upstairs because at that time they were getting ready to close it down and since we were there it has been turned into a home decor store. Now I'll be giving you the step-by-step -step process of making a Build-A-Bear. The first thing you do is you choose your bear skin. I chose this one. It was one of the most cheapest ones. I think it was either $12 or $14, but there is a massive selection you can actually choose from. The next thing you'll most likely do is stand on this pedal, which makes the stuffing machine go round. And you'll be doing this while the employee holds the beer over this tube, which makes the stuffing go into the beer. Then you will be handed it to see if it's too soft, too firm, or just right. There are also a bunch of scents and sounds you can put in it. Then you'll have the choice of getting either a satin or a beating heart for your beer. Then you'll do the heart ceremony. Then the employee will stitch the beer up. Then you can give them a fake little bath. That yellow thing has air that comes out of it and then you can also brush them. This is what a small portion of the store looks like. On this rack here there are just a bunch of clothing pieces. Then there are some special occasion type t-shirts. Then there are some dressing room areas where you can dress your bears. Here is a pile of different clothing choices and bears. Here is the outfit I went for. I'll show you guys a better photo a bit later. Then you go to a computer to name your bear. So this is what my bear looks like. I decided to name her Willow Disney after Walt Disney because I gave her a Disney type outfit. When we were choosing the name for our bears, um, this lady came in with a chihuahua in a pushchair and I thought it was so hilarious I just had to take a photo. I decided to take a photo of these pumpkins because it was Halloween. There were some amazing sculptures outside of this Lego store. So there was this one of this guy on a horse shooting something at this dragon thing that was on the roof. Here is a sculpture of Buzz Lightyear and Woody attached to this rocket and then this little car. It's quite funny because I can still remember that my brother had this exact Lego set when he was a little boy. And then there was this one of Beauty and the Beast. Since we were in the Build-A-Bear workshop for one to two hours, we were all starting to get quite hungry, so we decided to go to the Rainforest Cafe for lunch. This fish tank was really cool. I love in America how most restaurants have like activity sheets. Here is a napkin that says, Rainforest Cafe, a wild place to shop and eat. Here is what the Build-A-Bear workshop looked like coming back from the Rainforest Cafe. Then we decided to go back to the world of Disney because since it is a massive store, we really didn't have much time to look on our first trip there. So then we had a really good look and then we had a better idea of what we wanted to buy. Then when you are leaving the Disneyland Resort, there is a sign that says thank you for visiting. Here is a picture that I took of a yellow school bus in case you did not know. Yes, they are real. They're not just made up and they're not just in movies and TV shows. It's really cool because every year my carer and her sister who is also another carer on the trip, they both always bring over a bunch of Halloween costumes for the kids and then all the kids get to pick something out. Emmy and I and two other girls who were the children that my carer's sister was looking after, we all got first dibs on the costumes. I chose this one. I was Frankenstein's bride. Then I wonder who was Frankenstein. Here is a picture of Emmy, our carer, and myself. And here are some photos of Kyla and I.
And here are two with honey.